Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God declares, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of God. Let's give God a praise this morning. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. St. Mark and Merry Christmas to you. We give praise to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And we thank God for the birth of Jesus Christ. Will you please join in with the choir and our minister of music, Mr. Corey Baker, as they lead us in praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, everybody, just stand to your feet one good time. As we usher in the spirit, come on, put those hands together.
blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We just welcome you on this blessed day. You may be seated, praise God. We just give honor to praise, to glory to the name of God. We welcome our St. Mark family that's on Facebook and YouTube, social media. Praise God. We welcome you. It's, it's good to be alive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. To declare the glory of the name of the Lord. And for those of you that are joining us for the first time, we are St. Mark Reform Zion Union Apostolic Church. And we are located 1513 Colonial Avenue in the city of Norfolk. Praise God. Our pastor is none other than our beloved pastor, Dr. Reverend Alvin Benjamin Thomas. Hallelujah. And yours truly, Reverend Lorraine Thomas, First Lady. Praise God, God is good. Will you stand with me as we go into call to worship? The word of God declares, I will exalt thee, my God. O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Amen. 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 Praise God. You may be seated in the spirit and the presence of the Holy Ghost of God Almighty. Will you bow with me as we go into our invocation of prayer? Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord God. We exalt you. We honor you. We thank you right now for the blessing of your spirit, Lord God. Hallelujah. That you, Lord God, would dwell among us this day, this holy day, Lord God, that we recognize and we give thanks to the birth of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We ask right now that you will, Father God, pour out your spirit upon us, that you will go from heart to heart and breast to breast. And Lord God, that you will rest upon us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak this morning and to, Lord God, honor you with our mouth, Lord God. Father, we thank you because we know, Lord God, hallelujah, there is some that did not wake up this morning. Lord God, we just thank you. We take it not for granted, Lord God. But we just thank you that you, you honored the angels to come by and touch us this morning. Father, we thank you. Let me just give you all praise. We pray, Lord God, that every heart, Father God, that heareth my voice, Lord God, Father God, will humble themselves today. And Lord God, give you reverence, Father God. And we'll declare that you are our Father. You are our God. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the holy birth of your Son. And we give you all praise. Father, we ask right now, hallelujah, Lord God, that you just be exalted. 
and that it will be, Lord God, I will praise a sweet aroma unto you. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father God, that it will fill heaven, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, praise be your name. And that, Lord God, we just thank you right now that as the blessings go, as the praise go up, the blessings come down. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Can't thank you enough. Can't honor you enough. Hallelujah, Jehovah. We honor you this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
continue to just bless the name of the Lord as our Thank choir you. brings us a musical selection. Amen. 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 Praise God.
responsive reading and turn in the rear of your hymn books to select 551. Five fifty one, the birth of Jesus. And for those that are on social media, we will be reading from Luke chapter two verses 7 through verse 20. That's Luke chapter 2, verse 7 through 20. And the word of God reads, And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end. And they were, were in the same, same country. Shepherds yep. yep. by the field, keeping watch on their flock. Oh. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings, great joy which shall be all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And, and this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall be and, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, <laughs> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and a babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they had heard, wondering at all those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. 
and the shepherds return glorifying and praising God for all the things that they have heard and seen as it was told unto them. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Will you remain standing as we repeat our Apostle Creed? I believe in God the Father Almighty. I believe in God the Father Almighty. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Born of the Virgin Mary. Born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered unpointed Pilate. Suffered unpointed Pilate. Was crucified, dead, and buried. Was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into heaven. And sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From which he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. From which he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Catholic Church. The Holy Catholic Church. The communion of saints. The communion of saints. The forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body. The resurrection of the body. And the life everlasting. And life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today, we will light all of the candles of Advent. The first Sunday, we lit a candle that represented hope. Second Sunday, we lit a candle that represented peace. The third Sunday, we lit a candle to represent joy. Last Sunday, we lit a candle to represent love. And today, we light all candles and the center candle that represents Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us light the candles. When we look at the sinner candle, we remember that God sent Jesus to give us hope, to give us peace, to give us joy and love, and not just to us, but to all people. Hallelujah, universal to everyone. Praise God. Outside of Bethlehem, the shepherds saw a great light, and they heard the voices of the angels, and they traveled to see the manger 
and to see the baby Jesus. Far away from Bethlehem, wise men saw a star in the sky, and they followed that star, and they were filled with joy when they found Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are filled with joy yeah. when we found Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise God. And they remind us the gift that God has given us, that it is a gift available to all mankind everywhere. The word of God in Matthew's Chapter 2, verse 1, declares, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. And though through Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the prince of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. When Herod, then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquiring of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring him me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God, in a dream they that they should not return to Herod they departed into their own country another way amen, amen. amen. Yes. praise God for the reading of his word hallelujah praise God and as we are reminded and remember on Christ Jesus we should also ask ourselves, how can we help people remember God's promise after the Christmas is over? What can we do to be a witness of this day and the purpose of our existence to be a witness unto Jesus? Let us bow. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your son, Jesus. 
We thank you, Lord God, for sending Jesus to all, all mankind. We thank you. And on this Christmas, Lord God, help us to remember and to rejoice again because Jesus is, was, born. May we live every day remembering your love, Father, for us and how you love us so much and you care for us and have showed it through the love that we, merciful Lord, will love others as you love us. In Christ's name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. While I'm here, will you bow with me as we pray for the sick? Thank you, Father. Most holy and gracious Father, Lord God, we honor you. We honor the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the precious Holy Spirit. Father, we, we are come right now as one touching and agreeing, Lord God. As we ask, Lord God, that you would allow us, merciful Lord, to be an intercessor for, Lord God, our sisters and our brothers, Lord God, for, for mankind, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray that if there be anything, Lord God, that would hinder our prayer, Father God, we apply the blood of Jesus over it right now and ask forgiveness, Father God. And we thank you that when we confess, Lord God, that you are faithful to forgive and to cast it, Lord God, hallelujah, that it would never come to Lord God again to trouble us, Lord God, and to hinder. We thank you right now. We ask, Lord God, healing right now upon Hallelujah, Lord God, infirmity bodies right now in the name of Jesus. But Father God, we thank you most of all, Lord God, that our sisters and our brothers that are going through, we, we pray a joy, a peace upon them, Lord God. We pray, hallelujah, that you strengthen their inner man, that no matter what situation, Lord God, no matter what problem, that, Lord God, that you give them a, a joy that the world didn't give and the world can't take away. We thank you for the peace that passes all understanding. The Lord God, that whatever, Lord God, might be the situation, hallelujah, Lord God, that they will bring glory to your name. And they will, Lord God, through their testimony, that those that are not saved will see the light of Jesus and be drawn, Lord God. We thank you for it and we give you praise. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise. <laughs> praise you, hallelujah. Praise God. Our Christmas cantata introduction. A Christmas cantata or a nativity cantata is a cantata of music for voice or voices in several movements for Christmas. The importance of the feast inspired many composers to write cantatas for the occasions. 
some designed to be performed in church services, others in concerts or in other settings. Christmas stories telling of music of angels and suggesting music of the shepherds and cradle songs invite musical tributes. And the term is called cantata de Noel in French. Christmas cantatas have been written on text in several other languages, such as Czech, Spanish, Romania. Christmas cantatas can also mean the performance of music. Many choirs have a tradition of an annual Christmas cantata. Today, as is tradition here at St. Mark, please join our choir and narrators as we celebrate the birth of our Savior in this Christmas cantata entitled, God With Us. Amen. 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 Come, come Yeah. 
Imagine the stars in the sky, the countless constellations, the sprawling solar system, and among it, a little planet called Earth. God made all of these things and all of the people and inhabitants of our planet. Just over 2,000 years ago, when we most needed him, God came down to be with us, to save us and show us how life should be lived. He could have chosen anywhere to be his home. He could have built a palace for himself that would have made the grandeur of the Roman Empire seem like nothing, but he didn't. God chose to send his son to be born among the forgotten, the overlooked, and the poorest. This is the story of how God came to be with us. The story opens with a young woman in her home, Mary. Unless you look a, a bit deeper, there is nothing particularly remarkable about Mary. She was from a town called Nazareth, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. But to God, she was very important. So important that God sent an angel down from heaven with a message for her. special and God is with her but Mary found it hard to understand why the angel had come to see her she was just an ordinary woman she worried what the angel meant by the greeting seeing she was scared the angel told her not to be afraid God is very pleased with her 
and she will give birth to a son. She is to call him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. But Mary didn't understand how this could be. She was not yet married. She was still a virgin. How could she have a son? The angel explained how the Holy Spirit will come, and his power will give her a baby, and people will call him the Son of God. But the Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus, who ruled over the land, sent an order saying he wanted to count every single person in the country. So everyone, including Mary and Joseph, had to go back to their hometown to be registered. Joseph came from a faraway town called Bethlehem. Because Mary was engaged to be his wife, she came with him to Bethlehem. To save her aching legs, Mary rode on a donkey. During the journey, Mary was very nearly ready to give birth to her baby. Although tired and weary, Mary and Joseph traveled for many miles. They went from Nazareth and Galilee to Judea and then to Bethlehem.
When they arrived in Bethlehem, they knocked on every door in, the, in town, looking for a place to stay. But everywhere was full of people. Each time they were given the same answer, lots of people had come down to be counted, so the whole town was full. There were so many families to accommodate. Mary and Joseph nearly gave up, but they tried the very last guest house. Joseph desperately asked for help, but the owner of the last guest house replied that he was very sorry, but all his rooms were full with other guests. All he could offer was the stable out back where they kept all the animals. They thanked the owner for his generosity. At last, they had somewhere for the baby to be born. So Mary and Joseph went to stay in the stable. It was a very difficult place to bring a new life into the world dirty, smelly, and unhygienic. But Mary and Joseph made the best of it. When the baby came, they wrapped little Jesus in the clothes they had. They didn't have anything to put him in. So they placed the Son of God in a manger, a trough that is used to feed animals. I'm not sure this is what Mary was expecting. The angel said to Jesus, said Jesus would be called Son of the Most High. But as she looked at the sleeping baby in the manger, she knew that he was a precious gift. nearby, a group of shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks. It was nighttime, and they were surprised, to say the least, to see an angel of the Lord appear in front of them. The glory of God shone all around the shepherds, and they were terrified. You see, these shepherds were just ordinary people going about their daily lives. They weren't considered very important. Nobody took much notice of them, so they were surprised when an angel spoke to them. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you news of good joy. Good news for people across the world. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born. You will find a baby lying in the manger. Well, as if that wasn't enough for the humble shepherds to take in, 
The angel was soon joined by a huge group of angels called the heavenly host. They said, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth. to heaven. The shepherds wondered what they should do next. They decided that the best thing was to go to Bethlehem, as the angel said. They wanted to see what had happened, what the Lord had told them. So they hurried off to seek Mary and Joseph and the baby, which they knew they would find lying in a manger. They found the stable where the young couple were, and the shepherds went in to see the baby in the manger.
When they had seen him, the shepherds told everyone they met about the child. People were amazed to hear the story. Are you amazed too? The son of the most high, born in a stable, someone who would be called the son of God, placed in a dirty manger with only poor shepherds to greet him. The angel said it was good news for people across the world. And there's something about this birth that is good news, particularly for the poorest people on earth. Because when they see their savior has come to dwell with them, not distant, but humbling himself, it offers hope. Hope to everyone in the world that they are accepted and can come to him, whether rich or poor, important or forgiven. Mary, who had seen it all happen, kept these things close to her heart. The shepherds went back to their flocks. But something had changed for the shepherds. They still had work and family. Nothing in their lives appeared to have changed except them. They glorified and praised God for the things they had heard and seen. They wanted to express the joy they had found and change the world around them. And what better way to celebrate the birth of Jesus? These humble shepherds had their lives transformed through an encounter with Jesus. So please welcome him into your hearts too this Christmas.
time later, more people came to visit, but they didn't come straight to the stable. These three important people, sometimes called kings, sometimes wise men, were my magi. That's the same word we use when we say magic. And these were very clever people who knew all the secrets of the stars, but they made a mistake. They knew from examining the heavens that an important event was taking place. A bright star rose in the sky and they followed it to worship the person whose birth it foretold. They knew that the star heralded the king of the Jews. And where would a king be born? Yes, they went straight to the palace, but they didn't find him there. Then they saw the bright star ahead of them again and followed it until it stopped.
Each of them gave Jesus a precious gift. And that's why we give gifts at Christmas, particularly to poor and needy people. They went home even wiser men, realizing that precious things are worth far more than money and are not always found in the richest places. They realized that they should offer their wealth to Jesus, the Son of God, born into poverty, who is a friend of poor and needy people.
Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that is why we declare we are the children of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And not ashamed to recognize that Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah. Let us honor God in our giving as it's time for offering. Praise God. It's offering time. Amen. Will the ushers and trustees take charge? the blessing of the offering. Thank you, Lord. Most holy and gracious Father, we give you all praise and glory. We bless the name of Jesus the Christ. We thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. Father God, we ask now that as you look upon this offering, that it is a sweet aroma unto you, Lord God, that we give out of a cheerful heart. We thank you, Lord God, for what we give you have given to us, and we, Lord God, take pleasure in giving it back unto you. We thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 All things. Our trustee, trustee Cecil Stallings, will present the night before Christmas.
Christmas poem, The Night Before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was staring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and threw out the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster to midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes would appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapids than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As le dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with the bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. He flung a bag of toys on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl for full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. Laying a finger aside his nose, giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprung to his sled, to his team he gave a whistle, and the way they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, saying Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. A song was covered. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise God. Are there any announcements? Praise God. We just give God praise. Yes. Praise God. And we bless our church family, those on Facebook and YouTube and social media uh, and conference call. And we thank God for you. Praise God. Let us stand. The word of God declares, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Most holy and gracious Father, Father God, we love you. We adore you. We adore the mighty name of Jesus. We adore, Lord God, the precious Holy Spirit that is with us, Lord God, and keeps us and guides us, directs us, Lord God, that strengthens us through the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We 
thank you for Christmas, Lord God, for this season, Father God, that you draw us to remember, Lord God, and yet if we, if we would ever forget that, Lord God, that you love us and that you sent Jesus and he died, Father God, that we may live eternal life. We thank you for his birth. We ask now, Lord God, a blessing upon our families. We thank you, Lord God, for your, your keeping grace. We thank you, Lord God, as we stand on your word and declare the truth of your word, that your word would never return unto you void. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you. And now, Father God, hallelujah, as we depart from one another to continue to celebrate the blessings that you have given us, that you have showered on us, to see the promises come to pass, we thank you. And we pray a blessing over our pastor, Pastor Thomas, Lord God, that you will keep him and strengthen him, Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit of the anointing upon him, Father God. We ask now, Lord God, that the angels be camped around about him in the, the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for our church family. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Lord God. Bless them and keep them, Lord God. Father, we thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us give a special praise and special thanks to the narrators today. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Praise God. God bless you and God speed. Amen. Just to